show. Uh, yes. How fantastic. Actor John Lithgow knew that his mother's roots stretched far into America's past, but he had no idea just how far. We found his ninth great grandfather, a man named William Bradford, on the passenger list of one of the first ships to arrive on our shores. John, you're looking at a list of the passengers who sailed on the Mayflower. No! <laughs> Oh my God, my God. And this is William Bradford? This is William Bradford. Your ninth great grandfather was on the Mayflower. I didn't know this. What's it like to see that? I, I, I'm not sure I've lim lived up to my own ancestors. <laughs> this is incredible. William and his fellow passengers were hoping to create a religious haven in the newly founded colony of Virginia. But they never got there. Their ship was blown off course and landed near what is now Plymouth, Massachusetts. Unfortunately, they were completely unprepared for the New England winter. William kept a journal detailing what happened next. John Craxton died in the first mortality. Captain Standish, his wife, died in the first sickness. Mr. Martin, he and all his, died in the first infection. Mr. Mullins and his wife, his son and his servant, died the first winter. The first year in Plymouth was a disaster. In just the first four months, 52 of the 102 original Mayflower passengers died of starvation or disease. William watched helplessly, recording that record all along as people perished all around him. I mean, you think we're, it's like God flipping a coin. I mean, if half the people who died in that community had included him. That would have been the entire line. Yeah. Ever since. Including you. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm completely overwhelmed by this. Happily, William not only survived in the new world, he thrived. When the first governor of the Plymouth colony perished, William was elected to take his place, and he guided the colony to stability. But that's not his only legacy. In the spring of 1623, William married a Plymouth woman named Alice Southworth. Between them, they produced some rather remarkable descendants, including the famed painter Frederick Edwin Church, my former neighbor, Julia Child. No. <laughs> yep. No. The novelist Thomas Pynchon. No. <laughs> and your fellow actors, Alec Baldwin, Clint Eastwood, and Sally Field. My God! <laughs> you are all distant cousins via your ninth great grandfather. Oh my God! What do you make of that? <laughs> That's phenomenal. Did you? Could you ever imagine your cousin with Clint Eastwood? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't he hire me? <laughs> <laughs> Discovering the stories of our ancestors can be a profoundly transformative experience, changing the way we see ourselves, our families, and our shared history. To see more incredible stories, click below. And thank you for watching.